little semi of that cayenne pepper and water? Uh, I think you got to ask Timo about that. He's not allowing me to speak on it anymore. <laughs> so you got too many people hitting him up. What did you think of Garrett's catch in the, the second one? one? The second yeah. one. Well, for the snap, uh, I knew it was third and extra long. I was looking at the weak side safety, and I was like, if he drops down at all, I'm just going to say, screw it. I'm going to throw it up to G. I felt like I put it in a decent spot, but, yeah, I didn't do a whole lot when it comes down to it. I just kind of lobbed one up there. He made an unbelievable catch. When I saw the replay, it looked like he had his knee in. Um, so I thought, shoot, let's throw the challenge. Brick was already in front of me throwing it, but that was a huge play. First one was a huge play as well, but um, what was it, third and... Third and 20, yeah, I mean, that's game-changing play. And what changed from the first half to the second half here? It seemed like everybody had some issues in the first half, all three phases. Yeah, I mean, I was terrible. Uh, you know, we had a touchdown call, back, or, you know, Taken off the board, um, silly play. But uh, you know, I feel like the energy was good at halftime. You know, we had a chance to kind of, kind of cash it in there. You know, um, Morgan gave a little speech, which was good. We all kind of were positive, talking. Nobody was isolating at halftime, and we just knew, hey, let's go out and score every possession. We said we we're going to score 28 to 30. I kind of counted as 28 tonight, even though the scoreboard says 21, but proud of the way we responded in the second half and I played as bad, as bad as I could in the first half and knew it had to get better from there. What did you say to mates at halftime? At halftime? I didn't say a whole lot. I mean, I was talking to the line. I think it was just, just keep communicating, talking to the line about what runs they like, talk to receivers about a couple different uh, things to be alert for. But, you know, we just had to, had to stay positive and had to believe. And the first drive was the most important possession of the game. Went down the field, scored six minutes, converted fourth down. Um, that was big. Olu so, oh, told us that he hasn't played a single rep at guard and then had to fill in there. I mean, that one, the touchdown to Devontae, I mean, it looked like they came with everybody and the line gave you enough time to throw it. Just talk a little bit about that group and specifically him. Yeah, I mean, i, I got to give him and Max a lot of credit. Max played a ton of uh, tackle for us last year. And uh, I believe he played, my memory serves, maybe a little bit of right guard. I don't know if he ever played any left guard. Um, so for him to step in like that was fantastic. And then Olu uh, got, I don't know how many reps at guard in camp, but it can't be many, if any. He said zero. He, okay, well, there you go. Yeah, I mean, I would I would trust him, even though he's been a little bit uh, flighty about whether or not he's getting his number retired this weekend at Penn State. Um, but, yeah, I'm proud of him. Uh, he got kind of a welcome to the NFL moment on a, on a pull he had to the left. But he's a tough kid. He's a good kid, man. He was great in the huddle. And he's with an absolute legend of a human being on the right side, and Morgan Moses. I mean, Morgan and Tyron, I thought, played really, really well. But more than that, their energy and their their confidence and their leadership was uh, really special tonight. What was it like to get that reconnection with Devontae in the second half, especially on the touchdown? Yeah, well, I mean, the first play of the game, hitch and go, I threw the ball out of bounds. And then we had one later, and he, you know, he didn't come up with it. So it was frustrating for sure. I, I told him. All right, we're even after that. Although we really weren't because, God, the first one was so bad. Um, but he's so talented. We just, you know, get him in space, get him a chance to have a two-way go in the slot. He's uh, really tough to guard. So when G's going like he's going and making ridiculous plays and Tay's getting a chance to do his releases in the slot, you know, it's a special combination. How special is there's only eight games left in the regular season with you turning 41? Uh, in about a month. Has it all just naturally crossed your mind that maybe these are the final two months of the regular season of your career for you? Uh, no, it hasn't. Yeah, not, not to be too dramatic with this, but like, can you, even though it's just one game, can you look at the way you guys played in the second half, getting the win, the offense looking like the way it did, and almost have it be an exhale to some of the issues that you guys have dealt with for the last month or so, finally move past and kind of turn the yeah, corner? Right. Um, you know, it was kind of season on the line there in the second half. Um, obviously, we wouldn't have been mathematically eliminated, but uh, mentally, to go to two and seven would have been real, real tough. Um, 
hopefully it's give us confidence so that we can beat anybody because we feel like we could. You know, the way we played on offense in the second half is the way we've been kind of waiting for this offense to wake up. And I know, obviously, I was, uh, you know, close to perfection um, as I needed to be. But that's the standard I need to play at. Um, and, guys, you know, there's a lot of really incredible performances. Olu, Max, the whole offensive line, Joe, uh, Tyron, and, and Morgan. But some role players doing some great things, blocking the run game, making timely catches. Um, Kenny Yoboa, to get him a catch, was really special. Kenny spoke to the team last night, gave a real heartfelt message about uh, how difficult it's been being out for so long and being hurt last year. So to him get a catch like that, maybe stay in bounds next time, Kenny. But uh, he's a he's an energy glue guy for us. And um, we did a lot of good things in the second half. We've got to build off of that. But hopefully that kind of lets everybody, like you said, exhale a little bit. And now we get a little time off and then get a trip to Arizona. Aaron, what was it like to get that gate ball to, to Jeff's hands there at the end? I actually didn't get to. But I got to have a nice moment with him. Um, Jeff's been uh, really steady, and it's been a few weeks in the making. But, uh, you know, I told him after that Tate touchdown, that was for you, buddy, because uh, we love him, care about him. We appreciate uh, the energy he brings to it, his approach, just kind of man he is, and good to get that first one. Why was that, why was that for him? Because we needed to get him his first win. Oh, the, oh, the win, not the touchdown. Both. Aaron, I think you guys have two games in the next 30 days. Just what can that do for you physically at this stage of the season? Listen, I don't. I told you. I think Connor asked, but something happened last Sunday physically for me, and I feel so much better. I was able to run around a little bit more. Now give me 10 days. You know, I feel like my legs will be back, and hopefully, you know, we'll have a good stretch of health moving forward. But we got a lot of guys banged up. Obviously, John went out. Um, ABT's been out. Jake went out. Um, guys in the secondary, you know, Chuck's been out. TA's been out. Both DJ and Sauce went down. They both stayed, you know, came back in the game. But uh, we got to get healthy across the board. Aaron, with you and Devontae, um, everyone assumed because you had all those magical years at Green Bay that you could just flick a switch when he came here and it would be the same. Has there been like a reacclimation process? You've had some misfires. You had the big play today. Where was that? Where is that in terms of chemistry and redeveloping that? Well, I mean, I I missed him on one. He, you know, had a chance to come up with one on the other. But he's playing Z. You know, he's playing. He's been playing X his entire career. So that's been the only uh, change that we'd have. We've had to get used to a little bit. You seem pretty fired up about where you are physically. Is that one of the, I know the play got called, but one of the reasons why you were so amped up on the field on that scramble you had. Yeah, yeah. Was third down. Uh, I looked halfway athletic. I didn't hurt myself in the process other than falling on the ball. And uh, I got a first down. You know, I wanted to bring uh, the joy and the passion to the game. Uh, this has been a frustrating season at times, for sure. Um, but I love this game. This game has done everything for me. And a uh, little perspective, a little gratitude tonight, and a little bit extra passion there in the second half. Aaron, when you Last guys one. were struggling in the first half, the defense kept the end. I mean, yeah, they were on their head, for sure. When yeah. you had a few huge plays in that first half, what do you yeah. say about their play there? I mean, they stood on their head. They were incredible. Uh, kept us in the game, turnover down in, in uh, plus territory, um, held them to field goals. Uh, incredible performance at top to bottom. A lot of guys, you know, stepping up. Great to see Monroe out there. He's such a special guy, great energy guy for our team. Uh, I got to say a lot about Mills, you know, him coming in, being on the peace squad, humbling himself. And from day one, he's been a fantastic teammate. Uh, kind of guy you pull for, veteran leadership, but just such a great, uh, great team guy. Uh, Sherwood, you know, stepping in for cap and playing some really damn good football. Um, proud of all those guys that kept us in the game. One guy I really want to highlight because I absolutely friggin' love him, and I thought he had a really damn good game is Javon Kinlaw. I mean, every week he brings it. He was disruptive in the backfield. He's a mountain of a man and a good friend of mine and a great player. Thanks, everyone. Thanks.